The elevator's up ahead. We'll get us there. You hear that? What was it? I don't know. Okay, so is the mansion I went to more of a hotel? Although it seemed like in Until Dawn when we like found the hidden passway, passageway in the basement. Um, can I? I'm gonna open the door. Like it doesn't always with on on some of the doors that I've messed with. Although so far now all of these just seem locked, but there has been. One or two doors, at least. Might as well try. You don't know, right? Okay. And what is going on with her? Okay. Doctor Bennett, there are no voices. I'm worried you might be malnourished. It could be affecting your succession. John said, "I have spoken to the boss." Anything in here gonna bring back memories? I think I can open these drawers. So I remember. Come on, can I do anything? How about this one? No? How about this? Get that shit out of here. I want to pick it up. Can I pick it up? Can I get it? Oh, I should have been able to pick it up. Whatever. Anything else in here? This looks in... I think... That's interactable, and I wouldn't be surprised if it has a if it's a memory. Oh, this is this the kitchen? All right, what's up? Old Randy. Oh, that's everything. That's everything. Well now, Doctor. I can only hope you have better luck than the last one. I don't get it. I doubt I doubt I can go that way, so it's whatever. If I do want to come back and check for trophies or whatever, I suppose I can. These look like... Oh, they're cabinets. These look, look like doors, but they're just the doors to cabinets. But it looks... It seems like a kitchen. Where's the... Oh, there goes... I was about to be like, where's the stove? Well, it almost seems like there might be... Whatever there was, was that, and that's that. Actually, it'd be amusing if we come over here, and we open the oven, like the like the oven would have been closed, and we find body parts in there. Somebody's head. Because cannibalism, and, and, and when you, when people cannibalize each other in this game world thing, then they also become Wendigos. I think we're almost getting close to the the hotel house part of the place. I'm gonna guess it's locked, so whatever. 
like I'm trying to check around for all the little extras or whatever, and then it's like kind of doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah, this looks like we're getting close to the part where it's like the old hidden ho hotel place. Um. What? You going? <sighs> I am actually kind of surprised there's not been any further jump scares after the one when we were still in the room and still flipping back and forth. What? What was that about? It seemed like my flashlight went off there for a moment. What's it is? Okay, what are we doing? That's elevators, so what are we doing over here? And what are you lingering around over by these doors for? Why aren't you in the elevator too? Or he wants us to get in here and then he's going to sacrifice us. Or he almost makes it here and then he gets in. No, he's good. He's not the good one. Where are we going? She looks like she's ready to tear somebody's face off. Do all of us look like we're about to turn into him? She just, she just looks like the only one. Same as I am. She looks like she's ready to eat somebody's face. Ready to eat somebody's face yet? Huh? She sure looks like it. What's up? We ain't there yet? Oh, you don't have the... What? Looks like it got hit by one of the bullets. Damn it. What now? God damn this shit! Oh no, it's the police again. Those fuckers are supposed to be on our side. It doesn't even seem like I can do anything with it, though. Come on. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Everyone just, just calm down. There's no point in panicking. We have to get out of here now. You gonna open it? Uh, we need to... What? Oh, now... Okay, so are we going to the second or first floor? Or whichever, because I just started pushing all of them. You saw that. I'm curious why this is tweaking out, though. Because I don't remember them shooting the panel. Or why the panel would be acting up. Hmm. <sighs> I'm glad the Wendigo did save us, though. Uh, come on! We have to get this thing open. Wait, what? We're going again. Where are we going now? And why does it, like, 
I just hit the open and close, like, hoping that it would be the gate, but it probably... What the hell is going on? Was that shooting? Victor, it's the police. We need the cable car. If we don't leave, they will execute every single one of us they can find. The police? That has to be some mistake. Can you get the door open from your side? I think so. Yeah. I didn't see anything. I'm still waiting for her to take somebody's face off. You look hungry. Soon enough, she's going to be like, Brains, give me your brains. Brains, brains, brains. Um. Okay, we good. Okay. Uh, I gotta wait for everybody. Yeah, she's the one we gotta watch out for. She looks like she's about to attack somebody. It did actually be a... Oh, I rem. Do I remember this room? I'm sorry. I cannot allow you to leave this mountain. No. No, I suppose that's why. Never should have listened, Brian. You knew we were playing with fire. Go. I'll operate the cable car. You need to get as far away from me as you can. Into the car. I wonder if there's anything in here first. What do we got? The morning after, passion with a price. Okay. Anything else I can check out in here? <sighs> What? Now. Thank you. I can't undo the choices I've made. But believe me, I would get on that cable car if I were you. While you still can. Just go. Please. Okay, I'm trying to move. I promise I won't forget this. She looks like she's ready. Can I move? Okay, good. good. And then what's this? I am curious though what's his whole role almost seems like he's a detective or something maybe can I go into staff only remember I was staff come on you're not gonna let me grab it just a little too far to the way gotta move up just a little bit more All right, what's up? Let's get out of here. I need some water. Bennett, do it! We can't wait any longer! 
fuck is my water? You know what would be cool? Seeing a Wendigo hop on the car and eat somebody's face. Whoa. What? Okay, we hear the cops. What's up? What? Wait, is that it? Cast is repeated at the request of picture patrons who desire something for Supermassive Games. Oh! We're done already? That's it? Really? That's all? Okay, I was still expecting something. Hmm. I'm, you know what, I do kind of sort of want to look up one or two of the voice actors for the game, maybe, and see whatever, whatever, I don't know, I kind of forgot what I was doing that. Now, this is where I say what I thought of the game. It was decent, not bad. It was okay. Um, I liked it. Felt some motion sickness. That kind of sucked. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and it was intriguing, like the um, the psychological elements were interesting although i am actually very surprised there wasn't a whole lot more jump scares like it was actually really light on the jump scares like there was only that one and it wasn't it was actually kind of almost kind of sort of predictable only one jump scare are you for real excuse me uh, i don't know if those burps are audible um, I think I kept getting distracted, but I almost, maybe I did say, I don't remember. But, you know, it'd be interesting if during this credit roll you look off to the side and a Wendigo is sitting right there staring at you or some shit. Um, so I was a doctor, okay. Um, oh yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised other story options um, result in more jump scares, scarier shit, you actually get killed or die or something. Um, you become a Wendigo? I'm actually a little disappointed. Maybe I want to become a Wendigo and eat the person that was in my cell. Look at me. I'm a reasonable man. So let's get down to business. You say you saw all sorts of bad stuff up on Blackwood Mountain. But I say you broke into a reputable institution under false pretenses. Who do you think people are going to believe? Now I just want to go home. Now I just want to go home. You gonna let me go home? Home. Silence. Oh. Good strategy. 
Then now I can do that. When it comes to publishing stories, no one will believe. Yeah, that's all right. I know all about you. Your editors and worth sick. As much as I'd like to see you just uh, disappear, this puts me in a bit of a squeeze. And I don't like to be squeezed. Now, what story are we going to tell our editor? Hmm? The truth. The truth. My fucking job. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell the truth. That's my job. Silent act only goes so far. I need you to tell me what you're going to do. There are monsters up there. You're delusional. Do you hear yourself? This won't do. I'm sorry, but for your own good, I have to recommend that you be institutionalized. And now it starts over from the beginning. I see it now. It's so simple. It's so easy. There we go. Actually, I am kind of um, not surprised that that's how it end or conclude. Okay, so I almost got all of them. I missed these. And I almost wouldn't be surprised if these ones were more kind of sort of places in the, in the 50s okay okay over the course of a month or what is that the 14th to the 30th so that's a bit over two weeks You know what, I might actually go back and get these memories. There's probably a trophy for that. And also... What's that about? Alright, what... That's pro... Oh, you know what? These are the ones where it flashed the butterflies, I think. Oh, what? What'd you say? Is this the temptation? Bennett was taken from your room. Wait, what? I don't get that. Oh. oh, so there's a whole set of um, actions for each of them. Okay. Sided with Suzanne, blamed herself for not convincing Bragg to leave. Blamed herself for not con Suzanne encouraged you to get out of your wheelchair. Kept still when crossing the courtyard. David made it to chapel alive. Um, Suzanne made it to chapel alive. Uh, Ted was glad you made it safely to the chapel. And then it's just resetting each of the things. Guarded with David. David was suspicious of your motives. Uh, that's it? Tried to convince the police you'd keep the truth secret. The police had you committed to an asylum. Not surprised. I'm curious what that one is, though. Okay, so there we go. That was that was interesting. I Like I said, I did like it. Flawed. But also, you know, it, it, they did a decent job with it as far as, like, the PlayStation VR things go. Um, and there we go. That's that's more games I have done for October.
So I have Here They Lie and The Inpatient. I might go ahead and wrap up a couple trophies in one or the, one or the other and figure out what other scary horror games to play, maybe with or without commentary. It is a little bit easier to... Um, and it is daytime, so you, you as, as you're watching the video there, um, you've seen the window behind me as it got lighter over the past hour or however many videos. So that's that's cool. Um, I think I did. No, I didn't. Um, per I actually, I'm not surprised if, because I was drinking coffee, if that made it more likely that I was going to have, that I was going to experience VR sickness. But anyway, now that we got this done out of the way, you know, I ranted about it a little bit on Twitter. But it'd be cool if they actually, aside from VR, that they just made full use of the move controllers and the aim controller. Whether it's like they don't need like the 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 aim controller should you could I could see where it could actually be used outside of VR. Like if they implemented it in some first-person shooters, I could. Definitely see that I might be more likely to play first-person shooters. Although, oh, what was the fuck? Farpoint. I, you know what? It was, it was, it was something. I could have done better, worse with Farpoint. But even with a lot of these first-person shooter games, I could make use of an aim controller. Although I'd still like. I, I like to be able to use both the joysticks with the aim controller like that. That's a, that's not a bad implementation at all. I, I need to bring this to an end, otherwise I'm just going to keep going on and on and on and on. So. The Impatient. Nice little entry for Until Dawn. And I hope y'all enjoyed it watching, joining me as much as I did playing this, if not more. And, uh, you know, damn, what's my usual... Oh, I, ho I hope y'all enjoyed this enough to like and subscribe, comment, share, and all support, helpful, appreciated. Every little bit helps out a lot. And um, I want to thank you, my favorite viewers, subscribers, best friends, cuddle buddies, and butt buddies for joining me, keeping me company, spending time with me, and checking out my crappy shit. I look forward to y'all joining me again. Other videos on my channel, on my other channel, or elsewhere on YouTube. It's always awesome to see y'all visit around again. And bye-bye.